In order to install the SI5 client on other machines within your organization, you're going to need to download the install file. Uh, this is not the same file that you downloaded for our uh, trial. It's a completely separate one. Where you're going to get this download from is from an email that you would have been sent. Um, whoever installed the SI5 server um, within your organization would have created a user for you, hopefully. And if they created a user for you in the SI5 administration console, that will automatically send an email to you. And the email looks something like this. It's going to show you what your username, password, server name, and the port number um, are going to be for you to be able to log into the SI5 client. Down here you can see you can download the install here and uh, definitely we recommend that you open the instructions here on how to install the SI5 client. Uh, once you downloaded uh, the download from here you'll see um, I downloaded it to my desktop it's called si5-client.exe and uh, you just double click this to run the install here. It's going to extract the files on this machine and it will open up uh, an installation wizard. Once the wizard opens, you're going to go ahead and click uh, next once it computes uh, the space requirements. Uh, now if it found any uh, prerequisites that are missing, the first step there would have been the prerequisite wizard and it's just going to walk you through and it will install all of the prereqs uh, necessary uh, for the software. Uh, if you have to restart your machine, if you, if you don't like have uh, the .NET um, 3.5 SP1 installed on your machine. Uh, you're going to have to restart your machine after that, but our, our install should continue as soon as you restart the machine. Um, go ahead and click next to the installation notices after you've read them, of course. Uh, this is the default location where we install our files. We highly recommend you leave that alone. Hit next, accept our license agreement, choose next, and then choose install to install the SI5 client. When the installation is finished, go ahead and click the finish button. And uh, if you'd like to launch the uh, System Integrator 5 client, just double click your icon on the desktop and this will open up a uh, login screen and this is where you're going to fill in your credentials from that email that you would have received, your username, your password, uh, you know, machine name. It'll default to localhost, but you'll change it to the actual machine name and then of course the port. Uh, that you, uh, again, received in that email.